Hello everybody, it's Guy Mitchell Moore here again. I'm back in Los Angeles. I'm in the very lovely studio of Inon Zur, computer games composer extraordinaire. So all those of you who out there who've played Dragon Age or Fallout or Prince of Persia or any of those things have probably spent hundreds of hours in his company without necessarily realising it. And I'm uh, very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What do you get out of scoring computer games? Are you a games player yourself? Well, actually, I'm not a big game player at all. I mean, I am enjoying certain games. Yeah. Um, um, and I'll be playing them a lot, but I'm not like what you call like the avid game player that is picking any game everywhere. Yeah. Um, I love several styles in games that will cause me to basically jump and really play hard a game to understand yeah. what's going on, uh, but I'm putting more um, of my time into actually trying to learn how the music work in games. And this is more about watching, yeah. watching other people play yeah. and try to get their sense of, you know, how they enjoy it because I cannot really be objective. It's really hard also because, I mean, what we do for a living is really tough and we spend hours and hours and hours writing music. We don't have time. We haven't got a hundred hours to, to right. spend playing a game. That's but, true. But uh, nonetheless, you have to understand the point of view of the player. Exactly. And for this, you there is no way around. You you do have to play some games and you, you need to pick up, um, at least in the beginning, mm. what you really like about, um, you know, the score yeah. and the interaction of the score in the game. So it's, it's very important that you will do it. Just talk very briefly about your gear, because people are, are obsessed with what libraries you use, mm -hmm. how many slaves you've got. Are you, obviously, we can see Cubase in the background. Yeah. Do you have large numbers of slaves and all that? Um, actually, I have only two slaves at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, but they're very, very, very powerful. Right. And I don't recommend too many slaves right now because uh, computers, especially some of the PCs, can be so strong. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm working with Vienna Ensemble Pro, yeah. which is giving you almost an immense amount of, you know, it's contact It's a players. liberation, isn't it? It's exactly. just amazing. Don't yeah. we love those yeah. people in Vienna? Yeah, exactly. And library-wise? And like... library-wise, I'm basically all over. Yeah. I'm using it all. 8 do Cine Samples, yeah. Spitfire. There you go. Yeah. Anything you can name of, you go, oh yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to stay on top. And yes. how many how many tracks in your template? Uh, don't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a measure of our self-control. You know, I thought yeah. I was doing really badly on 800 tracks, and then and then Richard Jakes in England says, "Oh no, I've got 1,200." Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you just. It all comes basically to what you want to write and how you write it and how you could do it in the not the fastest way, but the most uh, concise way and the way that you're not going to spend too much time you know, picking and choosing stuff. Things need yeah. to be at the tip of your it's fingers. It's a productivity thing, isn't it? Exactly. If you know, so you want to spend them. most time really thinking about the composition and not what sound to use. Yeah. Brilliant advice. Brilliant yeah. advice. Yeah. I, say, I say that and you don't listen. He says that and you say, oh, right. Yeah. That, that might, must be true. <laughs> anyway, in all, thank you so much indeed. Thank you very I much. Uh, you're, you're a very, very busy man, so we're very grateful. And I'll see you again very soon. You got it. You are welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs>